We live in an era where financial success is often measured by what we can show rather than by what we've truly achieved. Social media, especially platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, flood our lives with images of luxurious cars, enormous homes, and breathtaking trips. Everything is a showcase, carefully curated to send one message. I made it. But are these moments truly representative of reality? Or are we just seeing a fragment, a distorted reflection of what is considered success? As we scroll through social media feeds, we often experience conflicting emotions. On one hand, we might feel admiration and inspiration. On the other, a twinge of envy or even inadequacy. These platforms, designed to capture our attention, also capture our emotions. As we watch these seemingly perfect lives, we begin to question. Why haven't we reached the same level of success? What are we doing wrong? And more importantly, how does this affect our relationship with money? Social media can be a source of motivation, but it can also be a dangerous trap, distorting the way we view money and financial success. The pressure to keep up with what we see online often leads us to make financial decisions that aren't aligned with our true goals. Over time, this distortion can harm our financial and mental well-being, pulling us away from what truly matters. The illusion of success on social media, imagine you come across a financial influencer who constantly showcases a luxurious lifestyle. Expensive dinners, first-class flights, modern apartments in big cities. At first glance, it seems like they've found the magic formula for financial success. However, what many don't see are the behind-the-scenes details. Maybe they have sponsors financing part of that lifestyle. Maybe they are spending more than they should to keep up appearances. Or perhaps, once the camera is off, they face financial struggles no one could imagine. Social media is a space for personal curation. We choose what to show the world, and often we select only the highlights, those moments that make us look successful and happy. This creates an illusion that distorts reality, as no one's life is as perfect as it seems online. What we see is a filtered version of reality, where the struggles, sacrifices, and frustrations are carefully omitted. This illusion can be particularly harmful when we start comparing it to our own reality. What once felt like personal accomplishment can suddenly seem insignificant compared to the lives we observe online. This comparison is unfair and destructive, as we're comparing our behind-the-scenes with someone else's highlight reel. The result? A cycle of dissatisfaction and insecurity that makes us question our own achievements and financial decisions. In the end, the real question we need to ask ourselves is, are we living for ourselves or to impress others? When we place our financial happiness in the hands of social media, we risk losing sight of what truly matters. Social comparison and its psychological effects Social comparison is an age-old psychological phenomenon, but it has taken on new proportions in the digital age. Before social media, this comparison was limited to the people we interacted with, our co-workers, friends, and family. Now, we are exposed to millions of people showcasing their best selves online. And what does this do to our minds? Studies show that constant social comparison can lead to chronic feelings of inadequacy and low self-esteem. When we see others' achievements, especially financial ones, we tend to underestimate our own progress. It's not uncommon for people to feel depressed or anxious after spending time on social media, precisely because they are constantly confronted with idealized versions of what success looks like. The trap of comparison also drives us into an endless pursuit of more. More money, more material goods, more prestige. We aren't satisfied with what we have because it always seems like someone else has something better. This endless cycle of comparison can become an emotional and financial burden. When we try to compete with these images of success, we often end up making impulsive financial decisions, such as going into debt to buy luxury items or investing in risky assets in an attempt to achieve quick gains. A clear example of this is the culture of flexing, the deliberate display of wealth on social media. How often do we see young people, who are just starting their careers, showing off expensive watches, sports cars, or designer clothes? Many of these individuals are sacrificing their long-term financial security in exchange for temporary validation. By trying to match what they see online, they end up in debt and jeopardizing their financial future.
The culture of showing off and conspicuous consumption showing off on social media is more than just a display of material goods. It's a declaration of status. In the digital age, people no longer buy just for need or desire, but also to shape their identities and signal their success to others. This behavior fuels a culture where personal value is measured by what you own rather than by who you are or what you've built over time. Conspicuous consumption can be compared to an iceberg. What we see on the surface is only a fraction of the whole. Beneath the surface are often hidden debts, financial insecurity, and stress. Those who flaunt their wealth are frequently struggling to maintain that lifestyle, using credit or even sacrificing long-term investments to keep up the image of success. And it's not just individuals who suffer from this culture. Society as a whole is affected. When showing off becomes the norm, the expectations of what it means to be successful change. Instead of valuing financial security, we start valuing the appearance of wealth. This creates a vicious cycle where more people feel pressured to spend beyond their means to maintain appearances. Influence on personal financial decisions the way social media shapes our financial decisions goes beyond social comparison and showing off. It also influences our spending and investment choices in ways we often don't consciously realize. Increasingly, digital platforms are integrating ads and sponsored content that look authentic but are designed to push us into spending. The algorithms that control what we see online are designed to maximize our engagement and, consequently, our purchases. They learn from our habits, observe our behaviors, and adjust the content to keep us constantly wanting more. This cycle of instant gratification is particularly dangerous for our finances, as it leads us to prioritize the now over the future. For example, if you constantly see influencers promoting luxury products or high-risk investment strategies, you might feel tempted to follow those paths, even if they don't align with your long-term financial goals. This can result in impulsive spending or poorly thought out investments, putting your financial stability at risk. This pressure to consume and invest according to the trends we see on social media can lead to disordered financial behavior. Many people end up spending money they don't have, either through credit or by dipping into savings intended for other purposes, just to maintain an image that, deep down, doesn't reflect their true values or priorities. Deconstructing the false narrative and developing a healthy financial mindset to break this cycle of comparison, showing off, and negative financial influence, we need to adopt a more conscious and intentional approach to money. Deconstructing the narrative that social media imposes about financial success starts with accepting that success is subjective and deeply personal. There is no single definition of success, and it certainly should not be measured by what we can display on social media. Building a healthy financial mindset involves focusing on what truly matters, security, freedom, and the ability to live according to our own values. This means ignoring external pressures and concentrating on our personal financial goals. By doing so, we can start making wiser financial decisions based on our priorities and not on the expectations of others. A practical approach to combat the influence of social media on finances is to practice gratitude and minimalism. By appreciating what we already have and prioritizing what truly brings us happiness, we begin to free ourselves from the need to compete with others. Additionally, setting clear financial goals and regularly tracking our progress helps us stay focused on what really matters, our long-term financial security. Conclusion Social media has the power to shape our perception of financial success in subtle but profound ways. It leads us to believe that success is about what we can show the world, when in reality, true financial success is built on conscious decisions, security, and freedom. True wealth is not measured by what we can flaunt, but by the peace of mind we feel knowing we are in control of our future. By stepping away from the traps of social media and focusing on our own financial priorities, we can begin to build a healthier relationship with money. Remember, true financial success is not about what you display, but about the peace you feel knowing you are in control of your future.